The piece I decided to choose was Fragonard's The Swing. I'm going to start this analysis by focusing on the shoe. Taking a first glance at this, it seems like a pretty innocent sight, but it's anything but innocent. Her shoe flying off is a symbol for her being hot and ready like a little Caesar's pizza. She's ready to commit adultery with her lover that you can see hidden in the bushes. Her dress is flowy and the boy is looking straight up into her dress. Another symbol for how we know that they're going to get it on is the statue of baby Cupid in the background. Also, on the other side, we can see a couple of putti playing with themselves on what this seems to be a beehive. Right next to the little putties is what it seems to be her husband or a priest. He's in the background because he's pushing away and she's going towards her lover. Her lack of faithfulness and loyalty to her husband is represented in the dog that is placed in the bottom right corner of the painting. Fragner put the dog here as a representation of loyalty and faithfulness and how there's a lack of it, kind of like a college student's motivation during finals week. Overall, this painting is very erotic. It's about adultery and sinning, which really isn't surprising for Fragner. He was a very sexual painter. We can see that in many other pieces. For example, The Lock. This promiscuous piece shows a man and a woman about to engage in coitus. The man has grabbed the woman and swooped her out of her bed, both in their nightgowns, while he's trying to lock the door. We can understand that this is a very sexual piece just by how the woman is being held in the man's arms and how muscular and how unnatural his body and muscles are. Coming back to Fragonard's The Swing, the origin of this painting is not really clear. What we do know is that the commission for the painting was not for Fragonard. It was intended for Francis Goyen, who passed it down to Fragonard. A lot of people at this time believed that Fragonard should have shown more modesty in this painting. However, it became very popular and allowed Fragonard to continue his painting with the amount of commissions that he received. Today, this piece resides in the Walls Collection in London, England. The purpose of the painting isn't as scandalous as it was. In 2013, Disney came out with a movie called Frozen. In one scene, Anna, the sister of Elsa, was dancing around and imitating art pieces. One of the art pieces she was imitating was the swing. Now, I don't really believe that Anna is really all that promiscuous given she only had one lover in the movie. But hey, you never know. Disney's full of secrets. For me, the reason why I chose this piece was because, for one, I love a good scandal. Another reason why I chose this piece was because of the fact that this was presented in the Disney movie. This goes to show how context is everything. For most people who don't take art history, they will look at this piece and see it as a very innocent, very PG-rated painting. But for most art historians, they can look at it and analyze and see the dirtiness, the raw, the truth behind this painting. For me personally, I do not like the Rococo era. However, I really love this painting and the message that it has behind it. It's so scandalous and yet many people think it's appropriate to put it in a Disney movie. So in conclusion, Fragonard was a dirty birdie.